Have you ever wished you could be in two places at once? How about four? Believe it or not, Excel has a few powerful tools that can make this possible. Let's take a look. For example, here we have a really large data set and we need to compare sales from January to December. Instead of scrolling back and forth within the worksheet, we can use the split tool. The split tool splits a worksheet into panes that can be viewed and edited simultaneously. To use the split tool, just select the cell where you want to split the workbook, navigate to the view tab, and select split under the window group to split the worksheet into four different panes. Now we can easily do a side-by-side -side comparison of January sales to December sales. You can also make updates in any pane and the changes will be reflected in all of the panes. So if we update January sales to 5,000, it's now 5,000 in every pane. If you think having four separate panes is overwhelming, you can split the worksheet into two panes by selecting where you want to split the worksheet in the first row or column, and then selecting the split tool. The cell you select to split on has to be in the first row or column in order for this to work. Now that we've learned to easily compare data within a worksheet, let's learn how to compare data across multiple different worksheets. For example, we need to compare 2023 sales data to 2024, but the data is on separate tabs. Instead of navigating back and forth between the two worksheets, we can open a second window of this workbook to view both worksheets at once. To open a second window, navigate to the View tab and select the New Window command. Once the new window opens, you'll see a 2 next to the workbook name to indicate that this is the second window of this workbook that's open. Now that we have two open windows, all we have to do is arrange them using the Arrange All tool so that they can be viewed simultaneously. To do this, navigate to the View tab, select the Arrange All command, and select how you want to arrange your windows. I personally like to arrange the workbooks vertically to do a true side-by-side -side comparison, but there are a lot of other options to choose from. Before you hit OK, make sure that the Windows of Active Workbook option is checked so that Excel only arranges the windows of this workbook. If you don't check this and have other workbooks open, they will be included in the arrangement. Press OK, and as you can see, Excel automatically arranged the two workbook windows side-by-side, -side, and now all we have to do is open the 2023 tab in one window and the 2024 tab in the other window for comparison. Similarly to the split tool, you can make changes in either window, and they will automatically be reflected in all open windows. This is a huge time saver when it comes to editing, comparing, or referencing data across multiple worksheets. I wish I had known about these powerful tools back when I was constantly going back and forth to edit and compare large data sets. If you enjoyed this Excel wizardry, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more Excel magic tricks.